All right. Hey, you guys. It's Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com, and I am back for a second try since I messed up the first one. I also realized I didn't have my microphone on, so you probably couldn't even hear me that well. So hopefully we're not looking at the ceiling anymore. Let me get the computer going just to make sure. Um, if you guys were with me a few minutes ago, you know we were watching the ceiling, so um, that was not a good video, so I deleted it. <laughs> so let's try it again. Fix this crooked paper. See if anybody's watching. All right, so hopefully you guys stuck with me for a few minutes. When I pr pressed the live button again, it didn't uh, start right back up, so I had to wait a minute and try it again. All right, hey Sharon. All right, so is it working now? Everybody can see me, I can see me. Well, I can see the, pa the cards. All right, so these are the cards um, I'm gonna show you today. They're pretty much the same exact cards the only difference is um, the piece of vellum. This one is actually face up. This one is face down. So you get the more muted look on this. Also, I've got this backed on Bermuda Bay. This is backed on Misty Moonlight. So um, I posted this on Facebook the other day and asked for everybody's opinion. This one um, won pretty much by a landslide. I mean, every, most people like both of them, but they just favored the darker one. So we're going to be doing the darker one. But like I said, they're pretty much exactly the same. The only difference was I flipped this one upside down after I did the coloring part of it and backed it on Bermuda Bay. And this one is backed on the Misty Moonlight. So let me show you what products we're using. Hey, Debbie. So we're using the Friends Are Like Seashells on page 27. And it is um, comes as a bundle. We're only using the stamp sets today. Um, we're just gonna cut out the shell by hand, which I should have done ahead of time, but it only takes a minute. And then we're using the embossing folder um, that goes with it, which is really, really pretty. So we're gonna be embossing after we do the technique. And um, also, I forgot to do this last time, was the winners. So the winners of these cards, um, this one right here is Robin Steyer. I forgot to announce this last video. So Robin, if you're watching, just send me an email. I'll put uh, my emails in the description box underneath. Hey, Belinda. Um, then this one was Judith Sigler. And you won this one, the stencil one. So congratulations. And just send me your address and I will get them in the mail. Also, I have two other winners I haven't heard from yet. Oh, wait a minute. Deborah, I did hear from. So we've got yours. I think, I think you sent me your address. I'll just have to double check, but I'm pretty sure you just did the other day and I haven't sent it out yet. And then Jan Warren, you won this one. So make sure you send me your um, address. And then also we're having a free giveaway, giveaway again. Um, so leave a comment or place an order to be entered into winning this stamp set. It's brand new. Um, it's still current in the spring mini catalog. And um, you could win this if you leave a nice comment or if you place an order, you get um, extra bonus entries if you place an order. So that's that business information. I've got my little protective sheet here. I got this on Amazon. These come like five in a pack. I cut this one in half because it was really big. And I'll put the link in the description box below the video on YouTube in case you wanna order that. Um, there, it's like 10 bucks I think for five of these. So if you're a demonstrator, it's great because I did my class this morning and I bought two packs so I had plenty enough for the class. Um, here's the paper products you're gonna need. We need five and a half by eight and a half Bermuda Bay, four by five and a quarter Misty Moonlight, four by five and a quarter Vellum cardstock, scrap of white, and four by one and a half white. So those are all the papers you need. And then a piece of ribbon. And this is eight inches of the crinkle seam binding ribbon and then you also need some of the twine this blue and white I don't know what it's called it comes in that pack of three um, I don't remember which one it is though it's on the ribbon page and it's a pack comes as a pack of three all right so first thing we're gonna do is start with the vellum and take all these off and you need some Stampin' Blends and I should have brought the directions with me because I typed them all up nice and neat for everybody this morning. Um, and I can post that too in a picture of it. All right, so we're gonna start with these three colors. 
So just pick any three colors you want. The darker blends work better for this. The lighter blends tend to fade out when you put the alcohol. So I've got dark Daffodil Delight, dark Bermuda Bay, and dark Knight of Navy as my three colors. And I, I always like to start with the lighter one. And all you do is just scribble the color all over. And I'm sure you guys have seen this technique. It's all over the place. It's like the new fun thing to do. But I have a little twist to mine, so. I'll show you that in just a sec. And then I'm gonna use Bermuda Bay. And it's really just wherever you wanna put it, no rhyme or reason, just scribble it on here. And you wanna kinda of cover the whole page. So let me put a little bit more. Bermuda Bay is my favorite. And depending on what color your background here is, this is going to look totally different. So if it's on white, it's going to look different than it's sitting on blue. So when I put it on my card stock um, to make the card, it's going to look totally different. All right. So it doesn't matter if you overlap a little bit on here, but we want to cover most of the page. All right. So then I've got um, a water brush and... Um, this actually is the broken one. It doesn't matter because what I'm going to do is pour alcohol into a little um, bowl, like just any little bowl you have. This is 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. It has to be at least 91%. You can use anywhere from 91 to 100. Um, I just picked the 91 because it's easy to find. The, the higher it is, it's, it gets a little bit more expensive. So we'll just pour a little bit into my bowl and then I'm going to take my brush and also uh, a wink of Stella. <laughs> I have a nice little rhinestone stuck to this one. All right, so we're going to start doing it and then I'm going to add some wink of Stella on there. So I like to start with a lighter color because you don't want to bleed the, the dark blue all over everything and I need a paper towel handy. So let me get that right there. And Let's see, how are you guys doing today? I can't believe I totally messed up that first video. I had to start over. I just, <laughs> I was gonna leave it, but then I thought, no, I don't know how to edit. I don't wanna have two minutes of just the ceiling on there, so it's okay. It's so hot here today. Yesterday was like 95, today is about 90. But then tomorrow, we're supposed to get a cool front and some rain, and it's gonna cool off down to like 70 during the day and 50s or 60s at night. So I am excited. We have had three weeks of no rain, except for the other day, maybe it rained about 15 minutes. So everybody's yard is brown and crunchy. So see how it just spreads out, it's so pretty. I love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some Wink of Stella. So all I do is just take the Wink of Stella and just squirt it on here. Just, oops, uh-oh. <laughs> this one's really, really juicy. All right, so put maybe like, I don't know, six, seven drops on there. And I'm gonna try and catch some of this that kind of ran off the page. And then just dab that all over. And that's gonna make your paper nice and sparkly. And I hope you guys can see this. It's so pretty. That Wink of Stella makes a big difference in how pretty it is. It's just so shimmery. And now Stampin' Up! has some shimmery vellum too, but it won't come out like this. It kind of looks like that new stamp set we have, the um, Artistic Etching, or no, Artistic Expressions, no. No, I can't remember. <laughs> Artistically inked. <laughs> How can I not remember that's my favorite set? Well, it has different names. So it's Artistically Inked Stamp Set, I think, and then Expressions and in Ink is the sweet. All right, and then I like to splash some sprinkles on here after it's pretty much done and just see what happens. You can tap it on your finger if you want to, but just kind of flick it. And then if it starts to curl up, just kind of curl the edges a little bit and it'll, it'll flatten back out. You can blow on it if you want to. 
and it'll dry faster. This this alcohol, that's what the alcohol does. So the higher alcohol it is, the faster it's gonna dry. So if you use too low of an alcohol, it's not gonna dry and it's also not gonna spread the ink out. So that's why you need the higher one. All right, so that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna let it dry for just a minute. I'm gonna set it aside. And while that's drying, I'm going to work on my other part. So put that aside. All right, so now we need to stamp the shell and the words. So we've got, um, thank you for everything. And I don't know where that comes from. I think it is, is it in the shell set? No, I don't know what set it's from. You know, I am so bad about that. I just pick whatever's on the table sitting there and just use it. All right, so stamp that on the left side of your skinny piece. That was the one that was four by one and a half. And then we're gonna take the same color, this is Misty Moonlight, and we're gonna stamp our scrap with the shell. Okay, I'm having technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, you got the cold front today, Melinda. Oh, I'm so excited, I just can't wait. It is so hot. And I can't believe it's, it, well, it's almost the end of May, but it shouldn't be this hot. And I'm just praying that we get some rain because my flower, I planted like probably 60 flowers in the last week or so. And it, I've had to go out there and water every single day so that they don't die. So I'm just hoping that it's gonna rain and save all my stuff. All right, so then we're gonna take the, um, Pool Party Dark, and I'm gonna color this a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this all over, not like coloring the whole thing, but just kind of highlighting some of these areas, just to give it a little bit more color. And if you want to, you could put some Winkostella on this too. That would be pretty. Let's see, what did I just do with it? Let's color it and see. We'll put some Winko Stella. Makes everything so much prettier. I love my sparkles. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see that sparkle on there. And then here, hopefully you can see this. It's almost dry, just a couple more drops on there. Can you guys see the sparkle on that one? It's so pretty. Love it, love it, love it. And really, depending on what color you put it on, it's gonna change the total, it totally changes how it looks. So that's backing it with Bermuda Bay. And then if you back it with the uh, Misty Moonlight, you get a totally different look. And then for that other card, what I did was I just put it upside down. But we're gonna, as soon as it dries, we're gonna emboss it. So make sure you watch how we do that. All right, I'm gonna cut this out real quick. It only takes a second. So after my story the other day, did any of you guys go to Chick-fil-A and get a um, frosty lemonade? I had um, one person um, send me a comment and she actually works at Chick-fil-A and she said, if you're desperate to have one on Sunday, go to Chick-fil-A on Saturday and get a lemonade with no ice and get a ice dream, that's what they call it, ice cream. And then put that in the freezer, put the lemonade in the refrigerator. And then on Sunday, stick them both in the blender, blend it together and make your own. And I said, that sounds like a plan. Maybe I should get about a gallon of lemonade and then some ice cream and I could just make some myself but I don't know it just comes out so perfect out of their machine and I love Chick-fil-A that's my favorite place but you know what's sad is they're short-handed I talked to the manager at Chick-fil-A he said they're so short-handed they can't even find people to work and it starts at $12 an hour I said that is crazy I don't know what teenager would not want to have a job at Chick-fil-A I would think that would be a great place to work. Um, if you can tell, I love Chick-fil-A. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, I think it's just about dry, pretty much. All right, so here's my Misty Moonlight piece. And um, what I did, I tried different things. I tried just running this through itself, by itself. And then I tried gluing it down, running it through. But the problem, if you glue it down first, what happens is the tape will show but if you glue it down after the tape doesn't show. So what I did was I just tacked it down just a little bit and um, let me get my tape. 
So I just put a little bit right in the middle just to hold it. And then if you want it more subtle, you can always flip it over and have it just the lighter color. But I like the, all the sparkles and stuff to show, so I did mine this way. All right, press it down right in the middle. And then I ran it through the embossing folder. Whoops. So make sure when you do it through the embossing folder, you want the Stampin' Up! logo to be on the top. And then kind of center it in here and close it. Make sure you can look on the front where your shells are going to go. Run it through the embossing machine. And when it comes out, it will look like this. So I did one ahead of time because, you know, I don't carry my machine in, in this room because it's too heavy and takes up too much room. So can you see it on there embossed? And it looks so pretty. So then I just tacked it in the middle. So what I'm going to do is just kind of lift it up, uh, up and tape it all the way down. So just put your... I use the snail still because I have a lot of it. But whatever you use, just put it around the edge, maybe a little bit in the middle. And put it down and li make sure you line it up with your shells. But these, pe these pieces are exactly the same size, so it should line right back up. And then give that a good press. And then what I did was I took my um, Whisper White craft pad and a sponge dauber. And I'm thinking I forgot the sponge dauber. Shoot. Hold on. Hopefully I got it. And I don't. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to improvise since I don't have it with me. All right, so got something on it. All right, so what I'm going to do is just kind of go really lightly across here. Oh, that's really dark. <laughs> I really need the sponge dauber. All right, I'm going to go get it. Hold on. I'll be right back in like one second. Run. Okay, I'm back. Oh, too bad. Whew, out of shape. Out of shape, out of shape. Okay. Get my microphone back on. Almost decapitated, decapitated myself with the microphone. All right, so oh, this is an old sponge dauber. All right, so just lightly go across these shells and the seaweed and everything, and it's going to make it pop off the page. I know you guys always get a little giggle when I do my videos because. <laughs> It never fails, I'll do something. <laughs> something wrong or forget something. But that should make you feel good because you know you're not the only one that does stuff like that. Because you can always count on me to do it. All right, so we're just going to um, highlight all those shells so that they're going to pop right off that page. So now you can see them a whole lot better. I just love it. All right, so you don't have to put a ton. It's really subtle, but I love it. All right, so then we're going to put our words right across the middle. And when I'm um, putting something to something that's embossed, gluing two things together, and one of, them, one of them is embossed, I like to use the green glue because it holds better. So just put that on there right in the middle. And hold it for a second. And then just make sure, looks like it's just a sliver over the edge. So I'm just going to trim that real quick. Okay. All right, then we're going to glue this down to the back piece. And put that right on the front. Let me flip it over. I'm getting ink on my fingers. Okay, so there we go. All right, then we're going to do the ribbon and stuff. So I've got my piece of ribbon, which has disappeared. Hold the phone. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. All right, so this is the um, one that was like eight inches. So you're going to put tape all over the back of your shell. 
And then I'm gonna make like a little end, the letter N. So I'm gonna start like on this edge and go up, make a little loop, come back down, make another loop and go back up. Whoops. All right, so I think I cut this too long. Probably don't even need quite eight inches. Maybe more like seven. And cut that off a little bit. Okay, so see how it looks like an N? So really I just went up, down, and up again and made a little loop there. So that's what it looks like with just a ribbon. Then you turn it back over, put some more tape, and then I'm gonna take this ribbon, the one that I can't remember which one it comes from. I think it's flowers for every season, but I'm not sure. I don't know, it's one of those, but it's got three in there. It's got the gingham, a white, and then this one. So you're just gonna hold it, wrap it around your fingers three times and then snip it. So you got like a lasso here. So it looks like a little lasso. And then you're gonna just pinch it in the middle, kind of twist it a little bit. And then you're gonna put that down like the same direction that the ribbon's going. And then kind of mess with it. This one is just fraying a little bit here. So I'm gonna trim that down just a little bit. All right, so just mess with it and get it like you want it. Make sure everything is stuck down so that it's not gonna come up. And then trim any ends that you need to trim. I don't know why that piece is fraying right there. Let's just trim it. Okay, all right, so there's my um, shell all jazzed up and uh, what do you call it, bedazzled. We bedazzled it with some bling bling. All right, then we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back. Hey, Joni. Yes, the white really makes the shells pop, I know. So you can pick any color you want. You can just sit there and mess with the piece and put it on all different colors, see which one you like. But I really liked how the darker color kind of popped too. So put maybe three or four dimensionals on the back up here. Also, don't forget, um, there's a joining special. If any of you guys are interested, if you have a wish list that's over $99, you can get $155 for only $99, $155 a product for only $99. Plus you get free shipping and a free paper pumpkin kit. So it's a lot of good stuff in there. And then you get the discount too. So anybody who wants to just be like a hobby demo or if you wanna make some extra money, I would love to have you on my team and all you have to do is go to stampingwithlisa.com and um, hit the join button. Also, there's a host of special. So if any of you guys want to order something, uh, if your order's over $250, you get an extra $25 free, which would give you $50 total free. So both of those specials are good. The um, joining one ends on Monday, but the other one goes about two more weeks. So you got a little bit of time for that one. And then just kind of put this diagonal. You don't want to cover your words, so try not to do that. And then, oh, I forgot one thing. Okay, so I took the Dark Misty Moonlight Stampin' Blend, and I did my little tapping thing with it. Oh, that is Dark Night of Navy. I thought I brought the other one too. Wait a minute. One of these, Night of Navy, Misty Moonlight. Okay. Oh, that's actually... Light Misty Moonlight, okay. So this is Light Misty Moonlight, and then just grab another one just to tap it onto. So what I'm gonna do is just hit it, and it'll splatter. Can you see it splattering? So it just gives it some little ink splatters. My customers are always like, I can't ever get it to work. You can see it, it's all over my paper, <laughs> but it's all over there too. All right, so that is pretty much it. The only thing that would make it better is if we had some shimmer spray to put on it, but um, we don't have it anymore. I'm so depressed about that. All right, so what do you guys think about this card? If you love it, give me thumbs up and hearts and let me know. Also, hey Mary. Also, um, don't forget, I'll be putting this on YouTube. If you leave a comment on here or YouTube, um, you'll be entered to win the card itself and also the Sweet Sampler stamp set. So I will pick a winner for that on my next video. 
and then have another drawing for um, the card too. And then I'll give away another stamp set. So I'll try to do one stamp set a week giveaway. So keep on watching, tell your friends, share this, like it, love it. Um, thanks, Melinda. Thanks, Joni. Um, you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Hopefully next time I see you, it will be a lot cooler here and we'll get some rain and have some green grass instead of brown. But thank you so much for joining me today. I love having you guys watch and comment. Hey, Maureen. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and have a great weekend. And I'll hopefully see you on Saturday night for date night with Lisa, unless I have a date, which I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. But if I don't have a date, I'll be with you guys for a date on Saturday. So see you later. Bye-bye.